I heard Tony just got out of theatre. You poor things. You've been through the mill. Yeah, but he's coming out home now, and well, that's all that matters. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give Oscar a ring. Tell him the good news. Oh, I'll check him over. Oh, I'd love to know more about the procedure. Then I suggest you check a book out of your local library and take your nose out of my confidential file. I didn't mean to pry. It's just neurosurgery has always fascinated me. <laughs> a little late in the day for you to be considering a career change. I'm sorry. Father, don't you think that was a slight overreaction? Mm -hmm. It's just a record of the surgery. What do you have to hide? That's nothing. And I resent the insinuation. Excuse me. Hello. I'll be there right away. Um, I've been called away to an emergency meeting. I'd like this filed away in my office, please. Look, it's highly confidential, so I'd like it locked away securely. OK. Hello? Hiya. I've got a situation in consulting room four. Can you please come straight away? Here when you opened your eyes. Oh, how are you feeling? <laughs> like an elephant kicked me in the head. <laughs> Surgery go okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I said it would. And before you know it, you'll be back home with us where you belong. Well, I was under anesthetic. I had this this dream. I was trying to hold you. But... I couldn't reach you. Well, you can now, can't you? You can hold me forever, Tony, because I am not going anywhere. And neither are you. You told Diane that you removed the tumour. This states that you cancelled the procedure. The tumour wasn't removed. Please tell me you're not just going to let Tony die. Oh, of course not. With the tumour. There isn't one. There never was. I faked the whole thing. And you... You're not going to tell a soul. 